What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willby, and today we're taking a look at the cheapest gimbal you can buy for your GoPro, the Hohem iSteady Pro. And first off, what is it with all these companies naming stuff and then their products? Guys, stop copying Apple's naming system. It's not that great in the first place anyway. Anyway, here's some of what I filmed with this gimbal. All right, so as you can see, it can get some smooth footage with this cheap gimbal. And it is just that, cheap. While reasonably well-built and sturdy, it's entirely made out of plastic. There is no LCD and no way to keep your GoPro charged while using it, which was a big negative for me since I had to use my GoPro stabilization, which kills the battery quickly, as well with the gimbal because it produces a slightly off-putting electronic jitter. That jitter can easily be fixed, however, using either warp stabilizer or your GoPro's built-in stabilization. Next up in terms of my dislikes is the motors. They seem to be a bit weak and often the GoPro will flop to the side like this or remain upright but with a noticeable tilted horizon. Again, easy enough to correct in post, but a pain all the same. As far as battery life goes, it seems to me that you can get about four hours of use out of a single charge. So not terrible, but nothing compared to what my GoPro Karma Grip or Feutech G6 had. The joystick is nice to have, but it's laggy and just doesn't seem consistent as far as how fast or slow the movement. And on the topic of movement, it also doesn't seem to have anywhere near the level of responsiveness either of my previous GoPro gimbals had, as far as responding to my movements. Anyway, enough of the cons, let's take a look at some of the things that I like about this gimbal. The first off is obviously the price. It's very cheap at only $99, and the build quality is pretty good. I'm also a big fan of the tiny tripod they included. It's small and lightweight, but it does its job just fine. Okay, so bottom line, it's a low budget gimbal in not only name, it seems to have some low quality computing cores and less than powerful motors. But for the price, it's pretty great. You can get some smooth footage with enough finagling and for the low budget filmmaker who just needs a bit of help smoothing out their footage and doesn't mind a little bit of extra hassle, I really think this would be a great purchase. But if you have a little bit more to spend and want smoother footage with a lot less hassle, I'd say save up the extra 100 bucks and get either the Feutech G6 or the GoPro Karma Grip. I've linked all of my suggestions in the notes down below. Anyway, I'm curious what you guys think, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos every week, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Anyway, this has been Echo Productions. I'm Silas Willby, and I'll see you in the next one.